another seam hidden. This week, I made some Marvel superhero cakes, but I also made a cake for the biggest superhero of all, the seam hider. The seam hider. That's the voice I want in the interview. That's the voice I want in the episode. I'm making Captain Marvel, Iron Man, and Captain America, and seam hider, of course. So to make all four of these cakes, I baked 12 pounds of my ultimate vanilla batter, and I dyed them accordingly per superhero. If you want more information on exactly how I divided and dyed my batter, then click here. I'm going to be removing all of my cakes, leveling them, removing the caramelization from the bottom, and then using a smaller cake pan to help me remove the caramelization from the sides. Do this to all eight cakes. Now, it's time for another kind of superhero to come help me. Sir Squeeze. He's like my Robin, right? No, oh, I see, so he's your sidekick. He's my sidekick, that's right. Seam Hider and Sir Squeeze. It would be like what Falcon is to Captain America. Who? <laughs> the Falcon with the, with the wings? I don't remember him. He must have had a very small part. While the simple syrup is soaking in, I'm gonna take this time to color some buttercream. What I wanna do is dye one bowl yellow, one bowl red, and one bowl blue. So originally, I was part of the Avengers movie and the other heroes couldn't take it. Oh, her cape is so gold. And they actually edited out all of my scenes. But that's fine, because I actually have all of the original footage. Or how can we include it in this episode? Of course. And you will know the truth. Dr. Banner, now might be a really good time for you to get in. I think it's Black Widow. I think she's the one who started. Mm. You know? <laughs> I, I see what you mean. It's time to fill my cakes. For the Iron Man cake, I'm filling and stacking the maroon cakes with the gold and yellow buttercream. For the Captain America cake, I'm alternating my blue and red layers of cake and filling and stacking the cake with plain Italian meringue buttercream. For the Captain Marvel cake, I wanna pipe a bullseye of alternating colors onto my layer. Do this to each layer and stack it all the way up. I'll be decorating the outside of these cakes with the superhero's most iconic features, but I also want the theme to carry inside of the cake so when you cut it, you're like, Clearly that's Captain America. For the seam hider cake, which is my cake, I cut two circles out of my two middle layers and as I build and stack that cake, I'm gonna fill that chamber with sprinkles. The blend I'm using in the seam hider cake is called Sprinkle Showers and it's this month's blend of sprinkles for sprinkle service. All those other three cakes are just cake, buttercream, cake, buttercream. The seam hider doesn't only hide seams, she hides sprinkles inside her cakes. <laughs> now it's time to crumb coat all of my cakes with plain Italian meringue buttercream. What time is it? Crumb coat and chill time! Is this Thor? is better than Thor's hammer. What does Thor's hammer even do? Hammer things? What does he do? Hang pictures? What does he do? <laughs> he beats bad people with it. Yes, but can he hide a seam on fondant? No, probably, probably no. not. Does his hammer help him with that? No. no. Dear Thor, get yourself the right tools. <laughs> Thor. Now that the crumb coat is chilled, it's time to ice all of these cakes again with plain buttercream. I'm gonna use a bench scraper to help me out and get them nice and smooth. The first thing I need to do is cover all of these cakes with the appropriate color fondant for the superhero they represent. So for my Iron Man cake, I covered him in a maroon fondant that's similar to the color of the cake inside. I just carefully roll out my fondant to an eighth of an inch thick, drape it over the cake, and then I wanna smooth it to the cake with the help of a fondant smoother and trim away the excess fondant at the bottom. For my Captain America cake, I cover him in a bright sort of royal blue. For my Captain Marvel cake, I actually made my blue fondant just a teeny bit darker. It's not quite royal, you know what I mean? Not navy, but not royal, somewhere in between. 
and covered that cake. For my seam hider cake, I am covering it in hot pink. Now, because the seam hider is meant to demonstrate how she hides seams, I'm not covering this cake the way I covered the others. I'm gonna cover the top, trim it, and then roll out more hot pink fondant and wrap it around and cut a seam. There is no seam I am afraid of. So yes, I'm gonna create my own seam, and then I'm gonna hide it. Wait till they see my scenes from the Avengers, wait. Explosions everywhere! Iron Man, keep the enemies away! I'm hiding scenes. Don't start a petition, it's fine, I'm over it. I'm gonna get my own film. Captain Marvel thinks she's it. All four of my cakes are covered, so it's time to move on and decorate each one. For Captain America, I figured the most noticeable thing about him is his white and red striped belt and his white and red shield. It's time to cut out all of the pieces that I need for this cake. So I need a black belt. I'm gonna cut out a band of black fondant and make sure it's long enough to go around the circumference of the cake. Then I'm gonna cut out some rectangles from my white and red fondant, and I'll alternate those colors over the black belt. We're gonna be at the SoFlo Cake and Candy Expo this weekend. Apparently there are seams to be hidden in Miami. Hopefully you've signed up for my workshop. It's my very first in real life class, and if not, hurry up and secure your spot. Head to the link in the description below, and I hope to see you there. The seam hider will be in Miami. Who's ready? For the buckle, I'm cutting a rectangle out of my gray fondant and then another rectangle inside. He does have a big A on his forehead, but I just think that's overdoing it. Like really? Yeah. Really? Now for his shield. Cut out one white circle of fondant as the base for the shield. Now I'm gonna glue the red circle to the white circle and use a smaller size circle cutter, I'm saying circle a lot, to cut a circle out of that red. So now what you see is just a red ring around all that white. You understand? No, my head hurts. It hurts? Then I'm gonna cut out a ring of white fondant, red fondant, and then cut out a blue circle that will fit on top of that red circle. Are you with me? Thank goodness for footage. <laughs> and finally, at the center of his shield, there is a white star. So I used a template and I cut the star out of white fondant. And before I add it to the cake, I need to paint this star just with a tiny bit of white luster. I just want it to be a little. And I'll paint it, let it dry, and glue that star into the center of the shield. And the other thing I need to do is paint the buckle, the gray buckle, silver and add it to the center of his belt. I mean, what kind of superhero wears silver? <laughs> uh, it sounds to me like you're a little bitter about being removed from the movie. Well, if they were so powerful, they wouldn't have had me removed. They wouldn't have felt threatened by my skills. Stop with Captain America for now, and I'm gonna move on to my details for Captain Marvel. So I'm starting with my blue cake, and the first thing I wanna do is cover the top of this cake with some red fondant. And then I need to trim it. And what I'm looking for is, you know how she's got that star and then the band? So I made myself a template that was the circumference of my cake that sort of dipped down lower at the front and higher at the back. When I trim fondant on fondant, I like to sort of tread lightly. The next thing I need to do is add some yellow bands to this cake. Don't worry, I'll paint them gold eventually. I mean, at least she has the right color scheme. Mm. You know, I'll give her that. I see. She's powerful, she's female, she got her own film. I'll give a nod to Captain Marvel. From this yellow fondant, I wanna cut out two equal sized bands that I will wrap around the circumference of this cake. Now, this is gonna be a bit tricky. So what I decided to do was flip Captain Marvel over, and then I wanna glue that first yellow band just under the red fondant. Well, technically just on top of the red fondant because it's upside down. Now I'm gonna flip my cake back right side up and I need to add the second band of yellow fondant. This is tricky because I need to leave about a quarter of an inch space so you wanna see the first yellow band, a bit of red, and then the second yellow band. Mm, just like a costume. Yes. 
this. I actually made the fondant band come together at the front of the cake because even though there's seams, they will be hidden by her star. I don't just have one seam hiding trick up my sleeve. Yeah, I have can, several. You guys seem to have a lot in common with Captain Marvel. We do. I mean, my blockbuster movie will come out sooner or later. And then we'll have everything in common. Yes, the budget's a tad bit lower, but... Oh, it's actually a really nice smell. I know. Have you seen her spatulas? They're oh, amazing. No, there seems to be some seams on this page. <laughs> <laughs> I see a seam down there! You're joking me. <laughs> You can barely even tell. After I cut it out, I decided I wanted to double it up. So I actually glued it on top of another piece of fondant and cut it again. Now I'm going to score the star with the tip of my knife from every point to its opposite point. Now it's time to add some gold to Captain Marvel's outfit. She has good taste. She's got good taste. If you get a little gold paint onto your blue or red fondant, don't fuss, just let it dry. It'll be easier to remove once it's dry. We can set this aside for now and move on to Iron Man, another difficult superhero. <laughs> like as in personality? I don't know about that, but as a cake, I found him difficult. Like his mask is incredible. Yeah. But then his costume is just like all these parts put together. So I really think he should have thought about what his cake design would look like. I eventually settled on the pattern that's kind of, I guess it's on his chest. Hmm. Is there some kind of a triangle in his chest? Yeah, it's power source. Oh. Yeah. The power source. So I went, does he plug himself in? What does he do? No, oh my Sol God. Is his no. solar powered? For his mask, I also cut out a piece of the maroon fondant and I did need a little bit of white um, just for his eyes and the power source. What's that on your wrist? What do you mean, what's this on my wrist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the seam hider. I measure the seams before I hide them. <laughs> I just lasso it up there and then I can get away. <laughs> I'm going to paint all of the yellow pieces of fondant gold. He also has taste. Yeah. Captain America was questionable with his silver. <laughs> and I need to let that dry before I assemble. <sighs> Sorry, Iron Man is boring me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna leave that in? In the meantime, I will assemble his chest plate. So I'll glue on all those other maroon parts where they go, just so that it has texture. For my seam hider cake, I now have to recreate the best superhero logo out of fondant. I made a template of my own logo, and then I cut out all the pieces I need. And now I need to assemble this logo. Once again, I use my template to help me put everything in place. For the darker pink at the bottom of my crest, I scored a line with my knife, and then I painted on some pink luster, just to give a variance of pink. And if you notice, there's some shading on my logo. There's some green lines there. So I painted those on with some green luster dust and clear food grade alcohol very carefully. And then finally, I just add the blue crest on top of the pink crest. See my. Have you seen her spatulas? Oh no, there seems to be some seams on this cake. I've gotta go. I've got to stop wearing hoops. Seems like a job for the seam hider. Whoosh. It's time to complete these cakes by adding their decorations. So we're going to go back to Captain America and I need to add his belt buckle and his shield. For Captain Marvel, of course I have to add her star, but before I do that, remember how I told you if you get any paint on your fondant, now that gold paint is dry and the way you remove it is by 
dipping a dry paintbrush into clear food grade alcohol and carefully painting it away. Now I can glue her beautiful star with clear piping gel right to the center of the cake. She really is the second best female superhero. You think the best one is Wonder Woman? Oh. <laughs> 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 For the Iron Man cake, the first thing I want to glue on is his chest piece. I'm just going to glue down a band of yellow fondant between my two pieces. Now it's all level and I can glue on the Iron Man mask. I had to be so careful doing this because often when you paint things, if, you t if they're tacky at all or wet at all, if you touch them, the paint comes off. Mm. So I have to be very careful. And now... The star. The star of the show, it's the cake you've been waiting for, the seam hider cake. And do you think I'm gonna hide that seam at the back? Absolutely not. I make my ultimate weapon. Mm. You know what my ultimate weapon is, don't you? Don't you? It's fondant paste. Say it like you mean it. Fondant paste. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I make my paste with the same color of pink fondant that I covered the cake with, and I just mix it with clear food grade alcohol until it's a pasty consistency. For my cake, I am gonna give fondant paste the spotlight it so rightly deserves. So I'm actually going to take all my extra fondant paste and just dollop it on the cake and let it run down, just to show you the power. So I want to know which hero is your favorite? Leave a comment below. If you were in trouble, who would you call? <laughs> now it's time for me to have a slice of all these cakes. I'm obviously going to save the most exciting one for last because the sprinkles are hidden inside. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to check out my Justice League cake right here. Do you hear that? Someone needs me. Someone needs the seam hider.